three domains of classification, archaea, eukaryotes and prokaryotes, by kscience.com. This is the scientist Professor Carl Woese. It was his work that determined the three domains of classification of organisms that we use today. The first domain that we're going to look at are the eukaryotes, so eukaryotic cells. And all eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. All eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. So what are the four kingdoms of the domain eukaryotes? The first one are the protists. And these are examples of protists here. All of them look different, but they all have one similarity. They have a nucleus. The next kingdom of the domain eukaryotes are the animals. So all animal cells also have a nucleus. And these are examples here. All of them animals, all of them look different, but all of their cells have a nucleus. The next kingdom are the plants. Plant cells all have a nucleus. And these are all examples of plants here. They all look different, but all of their cells have a nucleus. The last kingdom of the domain eukaryotes are the fungi. So all fungi have a nucleus. And examples are yeast and mushrooms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The next domain we're going to talk about are the prokaryotes. The prokaryotes. Bacteria belong to the domain prokaryotes. And this is an example of a bacterial cell in the diagram here. So bacterial cells do not have a nucleus. They have no nucleus. Instead, their DNA is arranged like this. Chromosomal DNA and in plasmid DNA. So bacterial cells have got no unused DNA. So the DNA in their chromosomal DNA and their plasmid DNA is all used to code for proteins. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This brings us on to the archaea. The archaea were initially confused with prokaryotes because they look very similar to prokaryotes. They do not have a nucleus. So prokaryotes and archaea, neither of them have a nucleus. However, due to DNA analysis of prokaryotes and archaea, they were compared. And it was seen that archaea have unused bits of their DNA. So segments of archaea DNA is unused compared to a prokaryote, where there is no unused segments of DNA. So these segments here of an archaea organism remain unused. These are unused segments of DNA. We call archaea extremophiles because they love living in extreme conditions. This includes hot springs where no other life can live. Extremophiles have also been found to live near thermal vents, deep under the ocean, so they can live in extreme pressures and extreme temperatures. They've also been found to live in extremely salty conditions like the one you can see here. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.